Hey, what's going on everybody? It's B Plus and welcome to yet another recap countdown. I know it's been a minute, I haven't done one of these in a while, but we are back and I'm excited to dig into the producer extraordinaire, the hook writing extraordinaire, George Rose and his brand new project entitled Anointed. And we're gonna be taking a look at my five favorite bars off of this project. George Rose is one of those guys that I think he has a lot of heart bars, a lot of bars that you can really just kind of feel in your soul, feel in your spirit. So we're gonna talk about those five things. Then after that, we're gonna talk about my four favorite beats. We all know that George Rose is a producer extraordinaire. So uh, there's a lot of great production on this project. And then after that, we're gonna head over to my three favorite tracks off of this project. Again, there's a lot there, a lot to choose from. I had a hard time whittling everything down to three favorites and then we're gonna talk about my two favorite features uh there was a lot of great uh features on this project you had scooty wop big breeze mike teasy paris was on here 1k few it was just uh loaded from top to bottom with the features on this project but i'm gonna only pick two and then we're gonna round everything out with one final recap we're gonna dig into just uh like the album art i thought the album art was very uh very creative on this project so we're gonna talk a little bit about that and talk about the intros and outros of this project so with that being said let's go ahead and hop into this review five bars why you nervous you put the work in Stop the comparison, God made you worthy What you got inside of you is so urgent All you really gotta do is no, no Yeah, you call to this, yeah, you call to this Man, I gave it to Jesus, he dumped it like him, man Used to be Robin, man, I was a Batman Lost with my poison ivy, Uma Thurman Yeah, everybody really wanna go when you win it Don't nobody wanna be there at the start, just the end And everybody wanna home run, who didn't pitch it? I know you see and wonder how I got the vision Gotta go up, gotta, gotta go up, up gotta go up Money in my bank account All I could see was my whole life fly And you told me you weren't leaving, yeah, you held me back I asked why I couldn't feel you, you said, cause you holding back Bring you GLD, bringing the spirit, I'm moving my body Making it pop like I'm popping the ollie Bringing that beat like you Mr. Miyagi Eating the word, that's good for the body Good for the body, you good for the soul You keeping me full, you keeping me whole You keeping me from going back to the old me You keeping me on my Okay, so let's talk about these five favorite bars off of George Rose's Anointed Project. Number five on the list, I had called to this. Uh, just thought it was a very good reminder of why should we be nervous if we put the work in? Um, but then also just talking about how uh, we have this gift in us and God has put a gift in all of us and it is urgent. It's urgent for us to, to affect the world around us. So that was number five. Number four was the haircut freestyle. I really enjoyed that just in general just because it was as a change of pace on the project in and of itself but um i like the comic book uh, bars that he had on there he had a little bit from dc comics but also had some from the marvel universe as well so uh like i said just nice change of pace to the project really showed off his ability to rap on that one next up we have alive another pre-course uh, just a really fun record with 1k few uh, 1k few is very good at writing hooks and also george rose is so that was just a match made in heaven very very dope project just reminding us just to count our blessings in our life so that was number three and moving on to number two seat belt i really like that line just because i thought it was pretty clever um on one sense he talked about how being in a crash and how god was the seat belt and he held him back from being um hurt but then also he flips it around and then george rose is looking a God asking like, why has there been a lack of presence? And then like that same phrase of hold back, he said, that's because you, George, you've been holding back and we've all been there. So we really thought that was pretty clever of those two different ways of using hold back or it being held back. So that was number two. And then number one, it's the vibe for me. Um, just the pop in the alley, Mr. Miyagi line, um, two very different practices, uh, skateboarding and um, and martial arts. But um, I like how he just kind of used that, that, um, that wordplay there. Um, and then um, I just like how uh, how he just really just shared his dependence on God. Again, this is one of those times where he just really showed his heart bars on this project. So those were my five favorite bars off of this project. Now let's head over to my four favorite beats. Four beats. Yeah, yeah you always there for me. Never leaving me on you. I'ma spread my wings on free. G-O-D till I D-I-E. Yeah, you right.
team Way so slippery Ain't no hold of me Got me feeling like All right, so let's go ahead and talk about my four favorite pieces of production off of George Rose's project entitled Anointed. Now, you already know what you're getting yourself into when you hear that George Rose producer tag. Um, it's iconic, in my opinion, it's one of the best ones in the CHH space. But one thing I did notice is that throughout this entire project, I always did not hear that producer's tag. So that led me to believe that uh, some of the production on this project is by other people. And I believe one of the other producers on here is NK4 and I'll hold the other one until I get to that portion. So let's go ahead and get into my four favorite beats. Uh, number one, well actually number four was G.O.D. Uh, that had the George Rose producer tag, a very fun track there. Uh, number three was All I See. Uh, one of my favorites on this, uh, it could have easily been number one, but I kind of rotated around and then I finally had to just land it somewhere. So that's at number three. It did not have a tag on it. Uh, so I don't know who produced that one, uh, but moving on to number two. Number two was Phi. And I think that that track was produced by Scooty Wop. I know he was featured on it. I didn't hear a tag on it. So that's just my speculation. Um, sorry, my spec, my, I can't talk. My speculation there on who uh, produced that. That song and then my favorite on the entire project was got me that was produced by george rose so um i could have easily just made a top 10 list of my product of my production favorites on here but uh, i just had to pick four and stick to my stick to my formula here so let's go ahead and hop over to my three favorite tracks now three favorites yeah you got me out of here yeah you got me gone rolling in my city yeah yeah you got me gone Okay, so let's go ahead and dig into my three favorite tracks off of this project. Uh, starting off with number three, Ad Libs. That could have just as easily been listed in my previous section in my four favorite beats, but I can only pick four like I just said. Uh, but this song is very catchy. I think George Rose really showed off his ability just to write a catchy hook and catchy verses. And obviously the beat was crazy. So uh, that song was in heavy rotation on Holy Culture Radio. I know I was spending it on my show. Uh, just a very fun track. So that's number three, Ad Libs. Number two is The Vibe For Me. That's just one of my favorite songs. That was one of the songs that I was just singing the hook for hours and hours and days and days after. It was a song that I immediately uh, connected to uh, my initial thought was it was going to be my favorite song on the project but after time another song kind of bubbled up and became my favorite song on the project but a very fire song and with that being said let's go ahead and talk about my number one favorite song bringing it home it was just a very uh, well written song perfect features with Eric Nelson and also Paris was on there. Um, it was just a very catchy hook, but then he got the perfect person to deliver the hook in Paris. And I can really go on and on about that song. If I'm being honest, that song could have been sprinkled throughout this recap countdown. I could have had some of my favorite bars on there. It could have been in my favorite uh, beat section, but I decided to land it right here at number one on my favorite song on the project. I mentioned two of the features on that song, but will one of those features end up in my top two on the entire album? You guys stay tuned right now and check it out. Two features. Okay. Hit me up. Hit my line. I pick up. And no matter the time. In my heart. I got you on my mind. In the dark. I know that you're the light. Hit me up. You know I'm out of die 
Tyson, get giddy up. I was down bad, but he picked me up. Got a lot of blessings, I ain't bragging, I can divvy up. Anytime you need me, hit me on my celly. I'm covered in favor like bread with some jelly. Man, I was empty like the girl at the well. Now living wide, it's slowing out for my belly. So many feeling amazing, had to switch up the flow. I'm feeling like ready, no matter the team. We stick with the king, unlimited glow. Working, I know they said it be lurking. Round my head like turban. Hit that cross like earthen. Can't catch my drift, I'm swerving. This new flow be like curse if it's wavy. Hop on the boat and we sway. Dream chasing, we taking flight. Only God saying we. Okay, so like I said at the top of this recap countdown, there was a lot of good features on here, but my top two was Mike TZ and also Eric Nelson. But let's talk about Mike TZ first. Now, I've been kind of late to the train when it comes to Mike TZ. Um, it's just a lot of dope artists in CHH, and just because you're not hip to somebody doesn't mean that you're sleeping on them. It just means that you just haven't had the chance to dig into them yet, and that's been the case for me with Mike TZ. But with this latest uh, feature that he has on here, it definitely has my attention. I know the first song that I heard by him was Bible Going Viral, uh, but this here, this really showed off his ability to rap, it showed off his ability to sing. Um, I really enjoyed the music video as well. Him and George Rose were doing their thing in there. So um, Mike TZ, I'm gonna be checking out some of your work here real soon. And now let's head over to my first favorite feature on here. A bit of a surprise, it's very hard to pick against Paris on any project that he's a feature on. But in this case, I had to go with Eric Nelson, um, a relative newcomer to checking out his music. Uh, my first time getting hip to Eric was on a lunch table on the 116 Summer Playlist. Uh, we are the Movement Playlist. Uh, just a fire verse on lunch table. But now here on this song, he just really showed off his versatility. And one verse, you got him rapping, you got him doing like the wavy thing, you got him doing the vibey thing, and then he just showed off the vocals at the end of it. So uh, just a really, uh, really, really good feature. I actually cut that feature, uh, the snippet short, just because I just didn't want it to run too long. But go back, check out that song. Very dope feature, very dope song. Like I said, it was my favorite song on this entire project. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and hop over to my one final recap. One recap. Okay, everyone. So that was the recap countdown of George Rose debut project entitled Anointed. Now, um, I had a lot of fun just kind of going through this project uh, song by song, line by line, just because it's been a while since I've done one of these recap countdowns. And um, overall, I just had a feeling of being encouraged after listening to this project from top to bottom over and over again. Now, I wanted to point out a few things that I noticed about the project that didn't make the 45321 uh, kind of format there. So the first thing that I want to uh, talk about are the intros and the outros of this uh, particular project. Now, on the intro, it was his mom just leaving him some words of encouragement. And then on the outro, was his father leaving him the same. Now, um, there's no wonder to me that he's such an encouraging artist because it sounds like he comes from very encouraging, wonderful parents. So so shout out to George Rose and your parents just for uh, just putting out a very encouraging um, a, a work of art here. So uh, that's the first thing that I want to bring out. And then the second thing I want to bring up is kind of along those lines as well. There's, uh, there's a voicemail from Double ATL, um, just leaving him a voicemail, just once again, just encouraging him. So not only does he have parents that are encouraging it sounds like he has a community around him that is encouraging him as well because this world can beat you up and then uh coming off of the pandemic and and, and some of the things going on in our political uh, atmosphere right now um this world can be exhausting but you all, always have to have uh, family around you and friends around you that are going to encourage you so i thought that that was very uh very dope as well and then the other thing that i want to talk about is uh the artwork on this project the artwork was fantastic now uh for my radio listeners you have to excuse me um i'm going to do my best to, to kind of describe it for you so we have george rose laying flat on his back and they're shooting um from on top of him so and he's laying down and his um his um his outfit is literally split down the middle so on his right side he has like a janitor outfit on and in his right hand he has a mop in his hand and then on his left side he has a regular outfit um, and he has um, an Akai uh, a controller uh, to, it looks like an Akai controller, um, a, a, a controller that helps you make beats and things like that. So so he's laying there flat on his back. Half of his body is a janitor, half is um, just a regular George Rose producer, singer, all that. Uh, but the one thing that is very dope about it is he has this huge smile on his face. So to me, what it kind of shows is he's anointed whether he's the guy being a, a janitor or he's anointed being the guy who's doing what he's called to do today. 
in both cases you're anointed and he just has to joy the lord in that moment and um it's just and then also in that um in the artwork it looks like he has a picture of his mom and his dad i'm not sure that's a speculation because it's really really small so um this is just to highlight um just the attention to detail that he put into this entire rollout so fire album artwork as well and then the last thing i just want to say is if you want to know more about george rose make sure you go check out an interview that uh, reach records did the 116 playlist is called we are the movement and they have like these panels and george rose is on there and he talks a lot about just uh serving and 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 that obedience to, to serving others is really led to um, him taking off in this in, in our CHH space. So so shout out to George Rose. I do have an idea. I do have an idea. So if you have a chance, hit me up. Just like your song says, H M U. Hit me up, man. Because I have an idea. Hit me up. So with that being said, make sure you go out to wherever you go and stream your albums. Make sure you go check out George Rose, his brand new project entitled Anointed. You won't be disappointed. I didn't mean for that to rhyme, but it kind of did. So I like how that works. So uh, you guys, make sure you guys go and check out this brand new project. Hey, yo, thank you for checking out this video all the way to the end. I always really, really appreciate it. You can feel free to follow me on Twitter. I can be found at DJ underscore B underscore plus. As always, you can feel free to drop down in the comment section below and let me know what your favorite bars were, what your favorite beats were, what your favorite songs were, favorite features, and the list goes on. You can also feel free to catch me each and every Saturday at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Holy Culture Radio, Sirius XM Channel 154. I have a radio station there, or a radio station. I have a radio show there entitled the Be Positive Music Show where you can hear a lot of dope Christian hip-hop music. So with that being said, until next time, peace in, confusion out, and be positive.